Renato Garcia claims to have had a paranormal encounter while exploring the house of a witch in Brazil. He finds all these empty bottles carefully arranged in a circle in the middle of the room, possibly for a spell, and then the far door opens all by itself. That's when some really bizarre things are caught on camera, things that are weird but possibly not real. Victim. So the door slams shut by itself, which is creepy, but then he says that the bottles fall over by themselves. However, when you play this part in slow motion, you can clearly see his foot kicking them at 1 minute and 21 seconds. It's hard to see because it's dark, but when you look in slow motion, you can definitely see his shoe. With over 4 million views and nearly 80,000 likes at the time of this video, I just had to give my honest analysis and say I have my doubts about this one. If he really is faking this part, then I have trouble believing the rest of this abandoned house exploration is real. Jake Wardell is a motocross YouTuber with a moderate following and is a bit of a local celebrity. He is out dirt biking with a friend, and it isn't long before someone recognizes them. They have a brief chat, and it isn't clear if he is a fan or is angry about their dirt biking. Either way, they decide to take off, but they don't make it far before another person blocks off their path and begins approaching them. This other man begins talking down to them and takes an aggressive stance. I think Jake must have known he'd follow them if they tried to take off, so he decides to defuse the situation instead. Luckily, the situation doesn't end badly due to Jake taking the high road, but who knows how bad things could have gotten with the unpredictability of these men, especially since that one man was willing to completely stop them from getting past. A YouTuber captures an apparition on his doorbell cam that somehow changes shape and color. First, it has an oversized white head with no face, then it becomes see-through to the point where you can make out the bush behind it, and then it switches to a blinding white color without getting thinner. The whole time, it somewhat resembles a human in height and gait, but how? Since this is the only footage of the apparition, we may never know. A YouTuber named RJFD gets a phone call from a friend, telling him to look at the sky. He goes outside and doesn't really see anything at first. It sounds like thousands of fireworks going off at once, but this is late at night in the middle of winter in small town Michigan so that doesn't make sense. There were no fireworks planned at all. Then the entire sky changes color. What is that? If fireworks is truly not the answer, then the only other explanation I have is some sort of strange weather phenomenon. Let me know if you think you have a logical reason for what's going on here, because I'm really not sure and neither is anyone in the comments section of this video. Kevin LaShawn and his large group of friends feel fairly safe doing a 24-hour challenge in a mental asylum that's supposed to be haunted. They aren't expecting to find much, and for a while they don't. However, two experiments stand out in particular. First, they invite the ghosts to play a game of cards with them by setting up flashlights in a semicircle. The flashlights stay turned off during most of this experiment, but they do seem to repeatedly respond when one person in particular comes to the table. Perhaps this person has a natural tendency to attract spirits more than the others. I guess you're they want you to play. Come over here, sit down. They want you to play. Whoa. These flashlights are turning on by themselves. Later, Kevin is playing with an app on his phone that is supposed to communicate with ghosts when he gets some pretty interesting responses. Is anybody in here? What's your name? My name's Kevin. What's your name? Even if this app is programmed to say scripted phrases at random intervals, I do think it's odd that it says something similar to Kevin's name. Shortly after he introduces himself, overall Kevin is unable to verify that this location is haunted. 
though many of his viewers have decided it most likely is. Let me know what you think about this entry and what other experiments Kevin and his friends could have done to summon any spirits. Warning, if you summon La Llorona, prepare for the worst. While investigating the Hinsdale house, YouTuber Mo Sarji summoned the Weeping Woman and he lived to regret it. While speaking through a spirit box, he received some answers. Was there actually an exorcism here? <gasps> oh my God, that was a yes. And a, like an evil, like it was mad. But the interview is cut short. Was it a priest? What? Something just f***ing appeared behind you. Something just f***ing appeared behind you. What? Like a f***ing mist. Like a oh my god. Holy f***. I don't blame him. I'd be done too if I'd just seen La Llorona in the flash. Baird Strudwick and his friends are just goofing around at a local trampoline park when they decide it would be funny to cover him in bubble wrap and do some stunts. None of them. Not even Baird expected this gag would almost cost him his life. The green bubble wrap suit definitely looks amusing, but after a while, Baird gets overheated and goes down. They quickly rip the suit off, and Baird says he's feeling okay at first. A little bit later, it becomes obvious that what he's actually feeling is the early onset of heat stroke. Now all of his friends gather around him and try to think of a reasonable plan as Baird sits on a chair with his head hanging low. No, no I didn't feel. I was gonna say you could get like a wet towel. Like, That's so why, you yeah. stay out, so you stay out, out. The cold will help it out. a lot. You ain't doing too well. Time. If you guys have like a hand towel, you just like. About 40 tense minutes pass before Baird finally recovers enough to film an outro for the video. He is still drenched in sweat and looks woozy, but I'm really glad nothing permanent happened. I will admit that I didn't think anything serious would come from this idea, and the sudden turn of events took me by surprise. Hopefully this video will help us all think twice before attempting anything similar. This strange sighting looks like an oversized bird of prey from far away. Make no mistake, this is no bird. Moments ago this creature with long wings was sighted scaling the dome of a cathedral in Mexico. The demon-like creature looks over its shoulder and sees it's been caught on camera, but it doesn't much care. It flies up to the top and extends its wings before taking off. This video has gone viral in the Spanish-speaking community, so I figured I would give my analysis. Some people are saying that this is a bat, while others are saying this is a demon sighting given its location with the cathedral. But I wanted to clear up the confusion and say this is from a CGI artist named Fernando Loga. Now, if you see this anywhere else on the web since it's spreading like crazy, now you know what actually happened here. A YouTuber named Alex Hayes and his friends find a cool looking stone perch overlooking the beach below. The good weather has them in high spirits and it isn't long before they are playing around near the ledge. Alex wants to impress everyone with a headstand, but it doesn't exactly work out as planned. Holy sh- oh. Don't do that to me, Al oh my goodness. Holy oh. Pause here and you'll see how close Alex was to tumbling over. He barely catches himself with his right hand, and if his right leg went back any further, then he would have definitely lost his balance. When you're searching for ghosts, beware, you might just find one. Posted by DNA TV in September of 2019, this video is not for the faint of heart. The description reads, Lexi returns with Dave to one of the most haunted and active locations we have ever visited. From the moment we arrived, things kicked off and didn't stop till we left. To this day, this is some of the most intense paranormal activity we have ever encountered. The gripping 25 minute video keeps you on the edge of your seat as the pair explore the abandoned site. They note that the place has been slashed up and destroyed since they last visited. At the end of the video, they hear some noises that cause them to freeze in place. They decide to go and have a look. Throughout the video, some in the comments note hearing voices of disembodied entities. Yeah. 
At one point, they hear a footstep. Using an EVP, they ask the ghost if that was him walking next to Lexi. They get a yes from the ghost. If that was you, can you say yes? If you want to walk and talk with ghosts, this haunted site is a good place to start. This bizarre home CCTV video reveals a scary moment when a mysterious shadow figure creeps across someone's front yard, moving down into the right and running along the length of their fence. I guess it could be a bug flying by, but the way it comes from around the house and continues through the yard is the same path a person would take on foot. The person who took this video thinks it's probably a shadow figure, and after reviewing the paranormal evidence, I believe him. This miniature forest figure has viewers puzzled. Posted on TikTok by Satpam Horror, a small Barbie-sized creature was captured walking at the edge of the forest. Watch closely. The figure looks just like a human in miniature. What is it though? I'm not sure what this humanoid creature could be, but its movements do not look animated and it seems to blend well with the setting. Any ideas? Leave them in the comments. This soccer match appears to be interrupted by a creature from another dimension. One team is about to go for a penalty kick when a strange white figure literally runs through everyone in the crowd without slowing down. I heard that this kind of effect could be a camera malfunction, but since everyone on the field is standing still, then I don't understand how this kind of glitch can happen. If someone has an explanation for this situation, then please let me know, because this definitely looks like it could be some sort of transparent creature to me. J Squad family and a friend are taking an Uber ride from a party to a hotel. The driver slowly starts to make him feel very uncomfortable, so his friend begins recording the interaction for both evidence and their personal safety. The driver asks about J Squad's girlfriend and makes other weird personal comments throughout the conversation, like this one for example. But you're not the word that they said. You're so much more than that. Yeah, thank you. You're so welcome. J Squad isn't sure what to say, so he just kind of goes along. That is, until the driver stops following the GPS instructions and goes in the completely wrong direction. Uh, do you think you should turn to... Yeah, I should. Oh my god. I knew I was gonna... Yeah. Well, good. Thank you. He promises to get J-Squad back to his hotel, but there's something in his voice that I find very insincere and maybe even slightly menacing. Eventually, the friend in the back seat nervously says, Anyways, I'm so tired. Yeah. I'm so tethered, which I think means that he feels so trapped right now. J-Squad nods in silent agreement. The driver does not pick up on any of this and keeps talking. Eventually, the driver gets noticeably perturbed, and he stops talking to them completely for a while. Listen to the radio. <laughs> His music selection sounds like something Norman Bates would choose and only serves to creep them out even more. Then, without warning, he makes a startling demand. Guys, feel free to sing along. Keep that camera on, too. At this point, he has noticed the camera and sarcastically tells them to keep recording. J Squad quickly tells him to pull over at a random street and they get out safely. Who knows what would have happened to them if they didn't have the quick wits to start recording the situation. Matt Bell accidentally manages to catch his neighbor's house on video as it goes up in flames. Watch about a minute in as a flaming piece of debris flutters across the street and lands in his hedges with a solid thud. Soon his front yard is ablaze, and now Matt's house looks like it is about to go up next. It looks pretty bad for a while, until his neighbors run over with some garden hoses and work on putting out the flames. 
Meanwhile, all Matt can do is watch on his phone with terror as he rushes home. Please put that out for me, please. I'm on my way home. Your house on fire! Yeah, I know. I'm on my way. The authorities are ultimately able to contain the blaze and keep it from spreading to other residences. This video just goes to show how easily the fire could have spread. If that flaming chunk had landed on Matt's roof instead of the hedges, there would have been little that his neighbors could have done. This spooky midnight sighting is quickly becoming known as the ghost boy under the stairs. It could simply be a bug walking across the camera, but what's weird is how it seems to stay confined to the area under the steps. Then at 15 seconds, it reaches the farthest corner and vanishes. Take a look again and tell me if you think this is real or special effects. Even the person who uploaded this video says they didn't believe in the supernatural until seeing this at their job. The scariest things are unseen. Redditor Fire from Thaumaturgy shares this video of footsteps in a stairwell, only there's no one there. The footsteps seem to be far away at first, but then come all too close. But some Redditors think it's a hoax. While I also agree that the footsteps sound like they're coming from above and are running in place, this could still be without the Redditor's knowledge or collaboration, which is seriously creepy. In fact, the Redditor claims he was walking down 18 flights of stairs from the top and didn't hear anyone entering the stairwell behind him. They also say they felt a gust of cold air and have a history of encounters with paranormal activity, all of which makes me lean towards this video being legitimate. What do you think? Two YouTube ghost investigating groups team up for this video, but they find something even worse instead. Because you know for a fact that's going to catch everything down there. It already looked bad when they first found it, but the flames are twice as wide and twice as tall by the time the authorities arrive on scene. They have to be diligent as they lift the rubble up to check for signs of flames in the middle. If they miss a single burning patch, this whole situation could happen again tonight. When the first responders leave, the team checks out what it was. Someone who was putting this entire forest at risk so they could burn trash. When they thought burning it was safer than dumping it is beyond me. They were either extremely foolish, didn't care, or were trying to do it on purpose. Perhaps all three. YouTuber More Wolfie is staying at an Airbnb with some friends. In the rental, he's found a trap door which he promised viewers he would investigate. He says he doesn't know what's in it. But he wouldn't be surprised if there were raccoons or coyotes living there, as he's based in LA and they're not uncommon. He first politely knocks on the trap door, but unsurprisingly no one answers. Then he pulls the latch and opens the trap door. The phone's video goes blurry. A moment later, they open the door again with a clear video and a flashlight. The door reveals a big pile of dirt with a plastic bottle on top and the interior structure of the house walls. I feel like there's rats and stuff in there, Wolfie says. The woman filming says it's probably haunted. Wolfie considers squeezing into the small space, but after hesitating a bit, he decides against it, suggesting there's probably spiders. He finally steps in and backs out again, explaining the small room appears to go much deeper into the underground of the house. In fact, it appears to be a tunnel. Where does it lead? To the underworld, possibly somewhere creepier than the tunnel itself. Wolfie hasn't explored the tunnel any further, so we don't know its destination. Any intrepid explorers here dare to take on the challenge? Dominic Marquez of Albuquerque, New Mexico says you're definitely going to believe his ghost sighting caught on CCTV video is real when you see it. Somebody is walking down the street when all of the sudden, they're simply not. There he is. Fast, yeah. Ghost. 
It's true, dog. The person morphs into a floating orb and briefly becomes human again before going back into its second form. And to top off an already bizarre video, this creepy thing happens next. Bro, I'm saying there's nobody there. <laughs> the neighbor's rather bright motion detector lights turn on when the ghost walks by. Nothing's there. If it was a CCTV glitch on Dominic's camera, then why would motion lights go on across the street? It looks like he was right about me believing this paranormal video is real. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.